In question 5.4, given that sine theta is equal to a third, calculate the numerical value of sine 3 theta without using a calculator. Now, with a question like this, sine 3 theta, yeah, you haven't dealt with it. You've done sine double angles before and you've worked with single angles in grade 10 and grade 11. So bring it back to basics. Okay, just split it up. Sine 3 theta is equal to sine 2 theta plus 3 theta. You look, we're just going to break it up, right? 2 theta, we know that's a double angle, plus theta, that's a, that's a basic angle. We've worked with it for so long. And this is actually going to be a compound angle expansion, okay? So let's expand it. So that's going to be sine 2 theta dot cos theta plus now the cos 2 theta and then a sine theta. This is coming from your formula sheet. It's the cos, sorry, it's the sine compound angle expansion, the one with plus. This is how I got all these values. And you'll notice, wow, surprise, surprise, we're dealing with a sine double angle now and a cos double angle as well. So let us expand. So sine 2 theta, if we expand it, that's going to be 2 sine theta cos theta times cos theta plus. Now look, with this cos 2 theta, we can use pretty much anything. But since we are dealing with another sine here as part of the same term, maybe let's just use the cos double angle expansion, the one with sine. Remember, there's one with cos, there's one with cos and sine, and there's one with sine. Maybe don't introduce a cos and sine since we're just dealing with sine. That's uncomplicated and just use the one with sine alone. So that's going to be 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. That's coming straight from your formula sheet, times sine theta. Okay, and now let's simplify. So this is 2 sine theta times cos squared theta. Look, ultimately, we want to get rid of the causes. So how do we change a cos into a sine? So let me show you now. That is cos squared theta. So why don't we utilize our square identity where cos squared theta is equal to one minus sine squared theta? Because look, we, we can't just use co-functions now. We can't just introduce it out of nowhere. It's for, it, that will be really frustrating. It'll make everything a lot more difficult. But cos squared theta, how do we change that to a sine? Use the square identity. Remember, we just want to work with sines and we just want to work with causes. And since these are the last two causes left, it's a lot easier to change this than changing all the sines. So that's just going to be, well, cos squared theta, we change that into 1 minus sine squared theta, close the bracket, plus sine squared theta, if we distribute it in, so 1 times sine theta, just going to be sine theta, and sine theta times negative 2 sine squared theta, that's going to be negative 2 sine cubed theta. Ooh, sine cubed theta, we haven't dealt with that yet. And now there's a minus. Okay, very interesting. Now let's distribute this 2 sine theta into the bracket. Uh, so 2 sine theta times 1 is just going to be 2 sine theta minus 2 sine theta times negative sine squared theta. That's going to be negative 2 sine cubed theta again, plus a sine theta minus a 2 sine cubed theta once more. Yeah, now we can simplify quite easily. So again, let's deal with the highest powers first. So minus 2 sine theta minus 2 sine, sorry, minus 2 sine cubed theta minus 2 sine cubed theta. So that's just minus 2 minus 2. That's how we get the minus 4 sine cubed theta. And then 2 sine theta plus sine theta. That's how we get a positive 3 sine theta. Now, the beauty of the question is that we know what sine theta is equal to sine theta is equal to a third. So this is like part two of the question. We've done all the dirty work here on this side of the page. Okay, we've gotten our sine thetas. We've eliminated the causes. And now let's just sub in. Maybe let's start with the three sine theta just so we can start with the positive so it looks a bit prettier. So that's going to be three into a third. Okay, so we're just subbing in a third there into the place of theta minus four into the place of sine again, a third. And don't forget the cubed that was there. Again, we can just plug all that good stuff into our calculator, but it says without using a calculator. So look, it doesn't mean don't use a calculator at all, but you can use it step by step. So three times a third. So that's three over one times one over three. The threes would cancel, the ones would cancel, and we're just left with one minus. Well, that's going to be four into a third cubed. That's going to be one cubed is just one. Three cubed is 27. So that's going to be one minus. 4 times 1 is going to be 4 over the 27. 1 minus 4 over 27. So that's basically 27 over 27 minus 4 over 27. So 27 minus 4 is equal to 23 over the 27. So without using a calculator at all, just some mental maths. And that is question 5.4.